All right, so I have some good news for you, and I have some bad news. What do you want to hear first, the good news or the bad news? Let's start with the bad news, okay? The bad news is this. Air pollution has now been found to cause diabetes, okay? And it has to do with this thing called particulate matter. That is the microscopic particles in the air. You have solids, you have liquids, and they're very, very tiny. They can get into the lungs, they can go into your blood and create all sorts of problems. Now, the size of this particulate matter is less than 2.5 micrometers. Now, a micrometer is a micron, and it's a million times less than an actual meter. So it's very, very tiny. And usually you can see this as haze in the air. Now, in this particulate matter, you have hundreds of different chemicals from industry, from power plants and automobiles and various other things that get into the air. And uh, one problem is that it can cause lung cancer. But a new study that came out it was uh, 16 weeks long, showed that exposure to particulate matter, and they call it PM 2.5, which is particulate matter less than 2.5 microns. They found that it altered blood sugars and increased the risk of diabetes significantly. And they're not sure exactly why this is, but there's some theories. Could be because of the systemic inflammation. It could be because of the autonomic nervous system dysfunction. Could be the oxidative stress, or it could just be affecting the gut microbiome. But all this leads to insulin resistance, so it affects the blood sugars. And insulin resistance is a precursor to diabetes. All right, that's the bad news. Let's talk about the good news. They also found out that fasting completely blocks this effect. Okay, and I'll put the link down below. So if you're doing fasting, you're protected against this negative effect. Fasting blocks this problem turning into insulin resistance. It also inhibits glucose intolerance. Simply because of all the hundreds of powerful benefits from fasting, and one being a strengthened immune system, another being autophagy, which cleans up the body, and probably the biggest benefit is the increased resistance against oxidative stress. So especially if you live in a polluted environment, you need to do fasting. I put a link down below of exactly how to do it. It's pretty easy. And I'll walk you through how to do it step by step. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?